Hello, welcome to another episode of Taste of Grace. Today we're going to be making hummus. Um, we're also going to be roasting red peppers. This is actually something we haven't tried before, so this will be really interesting. And today I'm also going to be using a blender and a food processor so that for those of you that don't have a food processor, um, you're still able to understand what this process should look like. And today I'm also going to have help. Dylan's going to be with us. Hello! And he's mostly going to be roasting red peppers and then de-seeding them. So I will try and explain his parts as we're going along while I'm making the hummus. So um, to start off, I'm going to go ahead and put the heat on this skillet right here on like medium heat so that we can char the outside of these peppers. And then I'm going to preheat the oven to 450. And that way they can roast really quickly after we're done charring them. And so now Dylan's going to come over here and start working on that. Make sure that you're washing your vegetables, um, whether you're roasting red peppers. Um, garlic wouldn't need to be washed, but if you were going to roast the garlic cloves, that would need to be done beforehand. Um, I don't know what else you put in hummus. So there you go. These are our pre-washed peppers. I'm going to move into our ingredients. So there's lots of ways to get chickpeas, but the easiest way for us to do it is to use these canned garbanzo beans. And what I like about that is it, there's already um, liquid in the cans, and you can use that liquid to bring liquid to the hummus, and that way it's not dry. Uh, we are going to be adding some lemon juice to it. But you don't want to add so much lemon juice that all you taste is lemon juice. And if you were using lemon juice as the only liquid, that would be the case. Um, we're also going to be using olive oil. And then instead of tahini sauce, we're using sesame oil. It gives a very similar flavor profile. And then we have camino, crushed red pepper. If you don't like spicy things, then don't add red pepper. We like to give it a kick. And then, of course, we've got minced garlic. You can use fresh garlic, roasted garlic. That's just kind of the easy option for us. And then you're going to want some salt. Um, if you're, for some reason, on a sodium restriction, you could probably get away with it. But just know that it, it, need, it needs something. The lemon juice might help um, with the flavor that you're not getting from the salt, but ideally it needs a little bit of salt. Okay, how's it going over there? It's not quite hot enough. I think it. I think it's close enough. Okay. What we need is a fire, like uh, some mini s'more. I'm gonna turn the heat up to medium high. Is that okay? Yeah, I just turn it all the way up. <sighs> Cranker. Okay, so if you're living in Texas, you should wipe the top of your cans off, or at least West Texas, because there's dirt on them. This, just one can of garbanzo meat, garbanzo, these things, makes a lot of hummus. So I'm going to start by just grabbing this here. Don't need the lid. Uh, here's some tongs for you in a minute. Right. Thank you. And I'm just going to leave your knife right there. Okay. There we go. Now things are moved around. So I'm going to drain just like the top inch or so of liquid off of these peas. So that's before I drain it. Let me go drain it real quick. Okay, and so then this is going to be after. So you can see if I tilt it, there's still liquid in there, but um, I've drained not even quite half the can. And so that's kind of the liquid that I'm talking about where you don't want to drain all of that or the hummus is going to be really dry. If this is your first time and you don't, you're kind of a texture person, you can also just drain the piece into a different container and then add that liquid back as you want it. So these are going to go in. Now keep in mind, I haven't made these in a blender before. I've only made them in a food processor. Thank you. Okay, so I think this is open. Is this the like? 
think that's the new one. Do we have? No. Wait, right now. I guess something about another one. Okay. Oh, there's the garlic open. Uh, I'm gonna start with some olive oil into this. Um, I think maybe they should be turned. I don't think they don't really smoke. Oh, they are. Yeah. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay, so right now I'm using a half tablespoon. And I think I'm going to need like three to four tablespoons of Turn olive oil. That was more than half a tablespoon. It's smoky. Okay, so that's somewhere around three tablespoons. I obviously way overfilled that second one. And then with this, this we got it. Maybe turn the heat down. I did. Turn it down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this probably only needs like a teaspoon, but am I going to measure it? Not exactly. Mm. So. So gear. You can see how much and part of that's olive oil, so it's not a whole lot. Um, the toasted sesame flavor is pretty potent. Okay. There's that char. Not very even. You know what I mean? Like I wanted in my mind the whole pepper was going to be charred. But I think it'll still have a good flavor. Yeah, I th Maybe. Okay. most of the time it's over fire, and so you get a more covered heat. Where this is just in the skillet, so it's only going to be surface heat. Okay, I'm moving into lemon juice. I'm going to start with mm, a tablespoon of lemon juice ish, and all of this is just sort of to your taste. So if you Want a bland hummus? Go easy on these. <laughs> I think that's probably not the point to most people. Um, okay. So with the crushed red pepper, I'm not really going to measure this for y'all because some people this is going to be too spicy. But um, that's probably about a teaspoon worth of red pepper flakes. Ah! Okay. It's hilarious to me this this pepper just dances. And electrons. Energy transfer. Okay. So then I'm going to do half a tablespoon of salt. And then I'm going to do half a tea tablespoon of minced garlic. Okay. Okay, then I'm going to char that side a little bit more. So that's going to be all the ingredients that are going to go in here. I'm going to take this over to the blender. It's a little hot. Okay, so I have mix, blend, chop, or ice crush. have no idea what those mean as far as what the blender is doing differently. Maybe that's in the manual. I didn't read the manual. So I'm just going to start with blend. It is real smoky in here. Makes me wish I had a real benefit. One day. I imagine most people don't have a real benefit. I don't know why they decided that was a cool thing. Fake benefit. <laughs> So, I think we're getting there. I think I'm probably going to the oven. 
I'm going to, I need to DC them first. All right, we're going to turn off that heat and take the skillet off of the heat. And just put it in the oven. Oops. Ooh, there's still a pan in here. I just put it in there. You can take it out and put it in the fridge. Mm. Make sure nothing touches the hot pan. Okay. Let me, let me grab a bowl real quick. Uh, do you want me to use this cutting board or another one? You can use that one. You can move the, you can move the ingredients over here because I'm, I'm okay. done with the blender. It's nice that everything has a rubber grippy on the bottom until you go to move it and then everything has a rubber grippy on the bottom and you can't move it. Okay, this is definitely a more liquidy hummus. Which, luckily, I'm going to have another hummus to mix it with, but probably on the more liquid side. I personally like it not this liquidy. But. You want to try it? I already put, took it out of the blender and I didn't even try it. Thinking about the next batch of hummus already. Let me grab a spoon. This pepper is quite hot. I'm just trying to get the center part of the pepper out. Maybe the tongs will help me out here. It's pinch and pull. You want to taste this? Sure. Let me see your pinky. Go like that. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. I'm going to rinse out the inside of this to get the rest of the seeds out. Oops, there's some water still in it. Rubbing cup top of this one. We're just slicing through these little. What do you call them? I, I want to say membranes. Well, technically, yes, but I think they're called veins in fruit. In, uh, well, I guess it is a fruit, but in vegetables. Why aren't bell peppers a fruit? They have seeds, but they're also hollow. So I don't know. It's an interesting. They're a pepper. Jalapenos are. It's just aren't a fruit. vegetable. Yeah, it's probably just a vegetable. Or at least I don't consider jalapeno fruit. That would be silly. No, I'm pretty sure it's a vegetable. That debate is always so interesting. Like, is it? It's a. It's a difference in. Do you want me to cut them in half and then stick them in that? Cast iron? I just put the whole thing in. Okay. I don't think that it's going to be that much of a difference cooking one. Because they're already hollow. Whew. So I'm going to set them like this. Sure. Toasty. And in the oven for five minutes. Longer than that? Probably 10. Let's ten. start with 10. Start with 10. Right. Well, I've never just roasted 10 two hollow peppers. I've always been stuffed and halved. So, yeah. Okay. What? I'm going to make this. Moving on to our food processor. This time I'm going to drain more of the liquid off. So, again, that's the liquid in it starting. Lost the bean. And a lot of their shells, like they're out of membrane. All in the membrane. 
Use your brain. <laughs> um, so now you can see when I tip it, you're not even able you're not even able to see liquid really. Um, it is probably at least half drained. Do you want to move? So because it's in the food processor and there's less upward volume, I'm only going to do about half of the chickpeas um, in, and then I'll add seasonings, and then I'll add the rest of everything. What? Oh, I was going to ask if you wanted to move the food processor to a more visible spot. Yeah, since you're finished. Yeah, we can move it. your seasonings and stuff back over here. Okay. Hey, look, the oven's up to heat. Just in time. Okay, I already forgot which order I did this in. I think I did the olive oil first last time. We need some, like, background music. I'll I edit. that's what you were helping me with. Again. I'll edit some background music there. And I'm dancing to it right now because it's such a good song. <sighs> Something about roasting red peppers. That made me forget peppers. how many tablespoons. <laughs> you put two in, I think. We'll see we'll back in the video. We'll start with two. And <laughs> we'll see, see when we rewatch the video. I'm pretty sure you've only put two in. Did you like the lemon in the last one? Mm -hmm. It was good. Okay. That's going to be a full tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm going to do a quick turn on the light and check. See how we're doing down here. Shouldn't take too long at 450. You know? I think this jar is so full, it just does not want to give me any. That did it. Just give it a good pat on the butt and it'll work every time. That's like a lot of oil. <laughs> this is going to be super toasty. Okay. Who knows? We may like it more that way. It's different every time. That's what's exciting. You the ground Camino? Um, I didn't put Camino on the last one. I forgot it earlier this week, too. Maybe it's a sign. I think sign. it tastes good without I it. I think it, I mean, I think it tastes fine either way. We'll, we'll, we'll pass on the grand cumin. Let's check. You know? Ah. You can add it if you want. We just forgot. Happens. Ah. Um, I'm going to rinse this off real quick. Because I've used both sides now, making two batches. Also, look at my pretty apron. I feel like I'm a gardener. Because I've got a wagon with some succulents and ferns. A wagon? It's a wheelbarrow! I don't see a succulent or a fern either. Uh, well... Because uh, that's... Okay, this is distracting. Okay. <laughs> what do y'all think these are? There's a cactus. That's obvious. Okay. Now that the um, seasonings are in and the oil and everything, we're going to finish that. My, I put my processor together before the video this time. I think that smoke is really getting to me. Here we go. It's so much more quiet than the blender. Oh yeah, it's way quieter. It's a lot faster, I can see. Add more gumbangos. Or did you already add them all? That's all of them. Oh. Yeah. I'm gonna check. So it's and been it the five looks minutes. Like it's been mixed really well. If you don't have enough liquid. When you're using the food processor with these beans, you're going to have to stop every like five seconds and mix it and then re 
let it, you know, puree some more because there's just not enough liquid for it to move everything around. This is definitely drier than the last one. It needs to go longer. I like the flavor. I still didn't add Camino. I like the flavor too. Do you want to add Camino? I think it'll be real good with some peppers too. Yeah. Um, no, I just say process it some more. Or we can wait until we put everything in the blender. Because this isn't all going to fit in the okay. process. Well, I would still process that more. Because okay. we're just going to do the mix setting on the blender and then just mix it all together. I think the blender made a really good texture. Yeah, but that one's also more liquid. So. This one will actually, like, it's got some structure to it just sitting there. Oh, I don't want that much. Yeah. Okay, let me see this blender. I think a good consistency, though, would be right in the middle of how much water you poured out of that one and then the first one. Yeah, because that one I didn't, I thought, it like, for me, it was too liquidy. So I... But I think this one's almost a little too dry, but I think the yeah, peppers will help. I also took off two minutes off the roasting timer for the peppers, because it was... We're having some issues. I always have issues. Yeah, uh, you, you and this machine don't get along very well. No one in their food processor gets along it very well because they just, I don't know, the design. Okay. So, I'm going to scrape this into the blender. I guess I could have left that other one. I scraped it all out of the blender. We have one minute left on the peppers. It's going to be really smoky when they come out. Because I've been roasting. I think once we mix the two together, it's going to be pretty good. I know it is because I made it that way. <laughs> okay. The first one was a little bit of an oopsie, and so I just made up for it with the second batch. Look here! The peppers are done roasting. The oven is hot. Make sure to not burn anyone. Safety first. Look how nice and roasted those peppers are. They've got a nice blister on the outside. And they're a little stuck to the pan. Look at that. You want me to drop it in the blender? Uh, would you slice them up a little bit? Absolutely. First? I'm worried it's not going to blend very well like that. I always find it nice to have a fork at hand when cooking. It's pretty much my main utensil. Fork, tong, spatula. I think I've used all three of those in every single video that I've done. And a knife. That's all you need. There you go, folks. Those okay, I'm gonna switch these out. Some gadgets are nice to have, but they're not necessary. I still argue that everyone needs a garlic press, even though that's not typical. I just don't know how people live without a garlic press. Oh, my lid. And it doesn't really matter how nicely you chop up these peppers because they're going to get thrown up into the blender. So, it's at least what I tell myself. I'm still learning my knife skills. Oh, 
All right. So we have some nice roasted peppers that I'm going to put into the blender. Are you almost ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I'm going to move this. Oh, whoa. Spunner. Back so I don't catch myself on it. Some roasted red pepper, homemade hummus. Hope this Do you want me good. to push it down, or it's going to be good? I don't know. We're going to find out. Something didn't sound right. Well, everything's on correctly. Okay, try it again. Okay. <laughs> it's like, what was that? <laughs> does it look like it's so on it? Does look like it blended pretty well. It has definitely given it a nice orange tint. One thing that I want to point out is that when you're blending something and it's you're having to push down on it, you want to keep in the top few inches, and really just the repetitive motion like that is going to be what helps the blender keep it going. You don't want to stick it down into the actual blades because then you'll have a spatula in whatever you're making. So. Yummy, non-organic. Yeah, not organic. Hmm. Tastes like Sabra. And we did pretty good because I like Sabra. Mmm. Yeah. That's really good. Cool. It's got a it's nice a consistency right now, too. So it's a little weird, but <laughs> it'll do. Okay, so there's our final product. Again, maybe you don't want it this liquidy. Drain out more of the juice from the can. Um, yeah, that's it for today. And wait, hold on. Let's oh, pour it into here. No, <laughs> it's it's fine. Bye. See you next time.